of supplies if you haven't checked out my first video how i talked about dollar tree family dollar and dollar general on how you can find easy art supplies for all craftsmen out here you should go check it out but today we're going to start on a part two one thrift and craft stores i recommend going to small craft and thrift stores because usually it's more of a comfy feeling Whereas if I were to go to a big corporation, I usually feel like this. Give me your money. <laughs> but I'm still going to recommend you this place, which is kind of corporate, but not really. But it fits in the fine lines of crafts and thrift stores. It's called Pop Shelf. And honestly, it just reminds me of another five and below, except this one's better. This company has over 21 locations. And this place doesn't just sell crafts, it sells a whole variety of items, I promise you. If you need anything like house products or beauty products, you can come here. But today we're just going to be focusing on the crafts and what their prices are inside of this beautiful store. This place has everything that you need as a beginner artist. I mean, they even have name brand things in here that cost way more in Hobby Lobby. As you can see, they got the cute little canvases for only a dollar. A dollar. And yes, they do have the same brand canvases as Dollar General, but at least it's around the same price or even a little cheaper. They have the different paints from the watercolors to the acrylics to the soft pastels as well too. Including the different paint brushes they have in a variety for everyone. They even have these type of paints, these acrylic paints. I seen them before the one that got me the most was this satin one and i'm definitely going to get it the next time i'm going back they even have the craft tools that anybody can use to make any type of doodle art some craft art the googly eyes for anything i promise you the bead arts anything like it was just amazing to me and this was my first time going into this store I just googled this, I swear to you. Everything that you need is in here. From the woodworks to the yarn, you name it. Even the sewing kits too for beginner sewers. It was incredible to me. All the way down to even the journals for people who just want to write and do poetry. It was phenomenal. Number two, name brand craft stores. Now, I did not forget how I feel about big brand companies. Give me your money. <laughs> but it's like heresy not mentioning these big stores because they are a big staple in our community. So we're going to focus on Hobby Lobby today. We're focusing on Hobby Lobby because all the other stores basically do the same thing. As you can see, they got the little classified ads that they have to show people that they have coupons, Joann's, and Michaels does the same thing. I usually get most of my canvases from Hobby Lobby and I get bulk canvases, like look at this, five to six in a pack for $12.99, I can't beat that. So it's all about looking for deals inside these stores. You never know, these big canvases might end up being $17.99 or even $10 just because someone punched a hole into it. Use it. They even got nice size easels in here for affordable prices trust me but the paint i will say the paint y'all need to go somewhere else including the different brushes like the individual prices for these are outrageous and i would never buy brushes from hobby lobby unless i'm like a millionaire and as you can see they got the other stuff that they have going on this was my first palette that i bought and i'm still using today I even cleaned it they even got the spray paints all the things that you desire but make sure you look around to see if any of these products are damaged because they will change the price on them hope this helps you in the long run and thanks for watching catch you later